Holly Willoughby's furious friends last night claimed she was forced to leave this morning after the horror of an alleged plot to kidnap and murder her. The 42-year-old shocked fans by quitting the show, telling ITV bosses she felt unable to carry on. One pal told how there was anger Holly had to give up a job she loved because she feared for her safety. A man has been charged over the plot. The friend said, she is in a bad way but some things aren't worth it no matter how much she adored this morning. It's terrible that one of our best presenters felt she had no choice. Married mum of three Holly announced her decision to quit online. She wrote, I now feel I have to make this decision for me and my family. I have let ITV know today that after 14 years, I will not be returning to this morning. To everyone who has ever worked on the show over the years, thank you so so much. This is such a difficult goodbye, you are incredible and I forever will be proud of what we've done together. A TV source said, it's all very sad and everyone at ITV supports her decision, which is clearly a very personal one. Holly quit after a tumultuous year. Last September, her and this morning sidekick Philip Schofield were trolled after being accused of jumping the queue at the Queen's lying in state. Then in May, Schofield, 61, left in disgrace after lying about a relationship with a much younger colleague. The show has faced scrutiny since, with claims of a toxic bullying culture. Last month, Holly appeared close to tears as This Morning lost its best daytime show title at the National Television Awards to BBC One's The Repair Shop. This morning had won in the daytime, live magazine or tropical magazine category at the NTAs every year since 2011. Holly pulled out of the show on Thursday as the London home she shares with husband Dan Baldwin and their children Belle, Harry and Chester was being guarded by police following the arrest of a man on Wednesday on suspicion of conspiracy to kidnap. On Friday, shop security guard Gavin Plum, 36, was charged with soliciting a man named David Nelson to commit murder, and incitement to kidnap Holly between October 2nd and 5th. After her resignation announcement last night, the managing director for media and entertainment at ITV, Kevin Ligo, said, We are sad that Holly is leaving this morning, but respect her decision which we know will have been extremely difficult for her to make. If you can't see the poll, click here Holly is one of the best loved, respected and most accomplished broadcasters in the UK. Holly has brought her unique brand of warmth, energy, humor and fun to one of the country's most popular daytime shows, and everyone on the program will miss her. We look forward to continuing to work with her in the future. Holly first entered the limelight when she was scouted by a modeling agency as a teenager. She broke into TV in the noughties when she starred in Zip Show S Club TV, a spin-off drama based on the lives of S Club 7. Later, Holly hosted children's game show Exchange and the children's version of talent show Fame Academy for the BBC. She jumped ship to ITV in 2004 to present Saturday morning children's show Ministry of Mayhem. In 2006, she and Schofield hosted Dancing on Ice and in 2009, Holly began co-hosting This Morning alongside him. In 2016, they famously appeared on This Morning in the outfits they had worn the previous night at the NTAs and shared stories from a raucous after-party hosted by Atlant Deck. In 2020, she supported Schofield as he came out as gay. Earlier this year, Holly was trolled for sharing a photo of her son celebrating Pride Day at school and she also faced online criticism in 2018 when she was accused of not spending enough time with her children. 
After Schofield left, Holly had co-hosted This Morning with Josie Gibson and Craig Doyle, 